Hello and welcome to our indoor workout today. If this is your first time joining us, my name is Mark and here is Heather. Hi there. We have got a 20 minute tempo and sprints interval session, which we will be joining you through. So yes, we're gonna be oh, yeah. <laughs> going through all of this together. So to run you through this in 40 seconds time, we'll be starting the whole session. So we have a three minute warm up, nice and easy. Just keep your legs moving over a nice high cadence. And then we're going into three tempo blocks around an eight out of ten intensity and that is going to be four minutes for each of those blocks. Yeah, they're going to bite. <laughs> yes, with the recovery between and after all of those and then we go into what we call sort of a micro burst sprint interval. Those are just going to be ten seconds all out but the recovery is just 30 seconds so they're going to bite. Yeah, yeah. there should be a nice little spice at the end of this meaty session that we've got. Okay, so in three seconds we are starting the warm-up ready and off we go. So we have a cadence or RPM of 80 here. We're looking for an effort level around three or two to five out of 10. Just keep those legs moving over. This is an opportunity to get yourself warmed up. If you like, extend this warm out a lot longer. Start the session a little bit. Yeah, you could just this. stick us on pause for a moment to do a bit more of a warm up if you want. But or is... alternatively, you could have done a longer warm up beforehand. It doesn't really matter, but these three minutes will be enough if you're starting with us now because we are joining you guys at exactly the same point. So this is just a time, like Mark said, to get comfortable, make sure you're in the right gears and your legs are kind of going around at around 80 RPM. But don't get too hung up on that. But if you don't have a bike computer, just keep an eye on the speed that our legs are moving and you can use that to give yourself a little bit of a guide. But it is very much just kind of getting ready for this meaty session we've got. And do make sure, if you haven't done already, get yourself some water or some fluids to hand, maybe even some food. It's only 20, 20 <laughs> minutes though, so hopefully you'll make you it through. you're going to get hungry in that time, Mark. <laughs> I do have quite a big appetite. And maybe a towel to hand just to wipe that sweat off. Definitely. Um, but this session's fantastic for all aspects of fitness. We are doing tempo intervals, which to give you a little bit of science here, is a really good effort level to bump that threshold up. Yeah. So we're just working below that threshold. That'll allow us to rack up quite a lot of time at that intensity. And that helps us to bump our threshold up, meaning we can push harder. Um, and then we're going into some really hard microburst intervals, really hitting that top end, really opening the legs up, unlocking some new power, hopefully. <laughs> so, I'm yeah. hoping to as well. Yeah, so these sessions, these block is going to be really time efficient because four minutes working at an eight out of 10, you're going to feel it. We've only got 20 minutes here, so we don't want to be wasting any time. We're going to be using every second to the maximum here to get this full benefit from this workout. Now, we've just got under a minute to go on this warm-up, then we're going straight into our first tempo interval, which is four minutes, and we're looking for an eight out of 10 intensity, and we're keeping the cadence at around 90 RPM. So as we go into the final 10 seconds of this warm-up, you might want to just select your gears ready to go. And this is gonna bite a little bit this session, even on the tempo intervals. It is a sort of uncomfortable intensity. You might be able to talk should you have to, <laughs> but it will be hard. You'll be still struggling for breath. So we've got 25 seconds get remaining on this warm up. I think I can rely on you doing most of the talking on this one, Mark. I mean, yeah, we've got to try and give some instruction, some motivation here, so we'll be doing our best, but you guys shouldn't really be able to manage a conversation or more than a few words at one time. So if you have got someone keeping you company, just one or two words every few seconds should be your and maximum. we're off, we're oh, off, here okay. We go. <laughs> have a chat away there. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right, quickly try and find your rhythm here. We're looking for a 90 RPM cadence. So we've got just under four minutes remaining. Eight out of 10 intensity. So this should feel, as we've mentioned already, slightly uncomfortable. Probably will feel relatively easy to start off with. So make sure you don't go off too hard either. Yeah. But also don't allow yourself just to relax and take it easy. We're trying to get the most bang for your buck on this session. We've got 20 minutes to try and reap the rewards as much as possible. Yeah, wise words there of not going off too hard because it's quite hard to gauge a four minute effort. You've got three of them in total, so it will be 12 minutes of working at this intensity, but don't think of it like that because it's broken down with the recovery in between. So we'll attempt one block at a time, but it is very much learning from how it feels, but also you can 
use potentially heart rate or power if you've got that on your bike to find that eight out of 10 effort. Yeah, these are great intervals actually, or great intensity to really work on your pedaling efficiency. So as you try and lock into that 90 RPM, try and think about a nice smooth pedal action, trying to stay nice and still in the saddle, not bobbing around. And think of your legs a little like pistons, just pushing down, trying to make a nice circular motion with your pedal and applying the power, not just on the way down, but through that pedal stroke and on the way up. So we are just under two and a half minutes remaining on this tempo interval. You're doing a fantastic job. Feel free to grab some water as you go throughout this session. After this tempo interval, we then we'll go into a recovery for two minutes. This opportunity just to flush the legs out, be an effort level of five out of 10, remaining with a 90 RPM cadence. So just two minutes remaining. Yeah. Halfway through this first repetition and now you should really know where you're at with this and you'll be able to adjust your gears if you haven't quite started hard enough or you start a bit too hard. Now's a good time to find that gear and remember where you're in so when we come to the next set of this, you're ready to get straight to it and you really should be in a, in a rhythm. Like Mark said, this is uncomfortable, but maintainable. I think that's a good way to describe it. Hopefully. Um, <laughs> well, yes, and maybe not maintainable to have a full conversation, but maintainable to keep your legs moving at this rate and hopefully get through for another minute and 20 seconds left of this effort, and then you'll get that nice recovery. So just focus on that right now. That is a very good point. If you do feel at any point, your power starts to drop off. You can't maintain that eight out of 10 intensity. Don't stop, keep going. Just maintain the best intensity or the best power that you possibly can. You're still gonna get a lot of improvements and benefits from that still. So just keep at it, keep working hard. Just do the best you possibly can. We're into the final minute now, just 50 seconds remaining of this first effort. So focus on every pedal stroke counting here. And remember the whole session is only 20 minutes, so we want everything to count. And think of those benefits that you'll get afterwards. It's always a good motivator for me. Okay, 30 seconds remaining. Great work here, guys. Here we go, we'll get a rest in 20 seconds time. Come on, keep it up now. Don't slack off till that final 15 to go. Yep, think about strong legs, pushing down through the pedals, 10 seconds remaining. Go on, keep going. Don't back off yet. All the way until the final second. Three, two, one. Okay. Woo. Now we've got two minutes recovery. Five out of 10, don't back right off. Still got to keep a little bit of intensity going down through the pedals. 90 RPM. So maybe just drop down through the gears slightly. We've got around a minute 45 remaining. Then we're back into another tempo interval for four minutes. So yeah, this is a, this is hopefully feeling fairly comfortable at the moment. Um, but as I've said, may start to bite a little bit as we go on to the next interval or maybe the final interval. And then that micro burst set as we go into at the end. It's a real opportunity to unleash the power, see what you've got at the end of quite an arduous and hard session. Fantastic job, everyone. Yeah, now's the time to just digest that effort you've done and get those legs ready for the next one. And now you know what to expect. You've done a block of four minutes. You've only got two more blocks like that. So you can really make sure you maximize that effort. So you're exactly on that eight out of 10. If you're going a bit too hard, you'll find you'll struggle to get the last one done. And too easy, you won't be getting the full benefit. So. You now know how you're feeling in recovery, how that last one felt, and hopefully you can pace the next two spot on, but you're doing a really good job. Yep, brilliant work, everyone. So in all, this actual main block of the session is 20 minutes with the warm up and warm down we've included in this. It actually comes up to a total of 25 minutes, but of course, feel free to extend that or reduce it if you'd like, if you're really short for time. Um, but I'd probably say stick to a minimum of 25 minutes in total, but the whole main block of the set is 20 minutes. We've got 10 seconds remaining, then we're into our next tempo block. It's eight out of 10 intensity, 90 RPM. Three, two, one. 
Off we go. Oh, clunk up through those gears. Remember where you were last time. Try to get back to that as soon as you can. There shouldn't be a change in the speed of your feet because we're staying at 90 RPM like we were in the recovery. The only difference being the power that you're now putting down through those pedals. So try to get back to those numbers and that effort level you had before. But remember, it shouldn't feel quite as hard at the beginning of this four minutes as it did at the end of the last one because it will build up and then you'll start to feel it any time now. Yeah, I'd say the key here is we go between the blocks. Don't try and spike the power suddenly up. Just gradually build it up. Otherwise, you'll find yourself right in the red zone with a really high heart rate and struggling to recover for the re remaining four minutes. So gradually bring it up, find that eight out of 10 intensity and settle there. Keep it nice and steady plateau almost with the intensity. We're really looking for a nice rhythm with your cadence. Yeah, exactly. And once you're into that rhythm, it will feel so much more comfortable within reason. Obviously the effort is uncomfortable, but the actual positioning, the speed of moving our legs should all feel quite familiar to being in a race. Mark, how would you say, um, what race would this compare to for you? This, this is quite similar to almost like a, for myself, maybe a 70.3 intensity. For some people out there, it might be their Olympic distance intensity. It's quite a uncomfortable intensity. We'd like to sort of call this almost probably like a sweet spot yeah. kind of intensity. So it's just below your functional threshold, power or heart rate, if that's something you use. It's a really good intensity, as I mentioned earlier, because you can rack up quite a lot of time at this effort level and really boost your fitness and that threshold level up. Yeah, exactly. I must admit, it's probably closer to my half, um, I'd say my Olympic distance effort here. I'm not sure I could maintain this for a 70.3, but that's where I'm working on. So hopefully this is going to help me boost that fitness. And it's a good time to work mentally as well as physically during this. I mean, this is just 25 minutes in total, but 20 minutes of working. But you can really sort of embrace that discomfort feeling. And remember, that's what you're going to experience in a race. And the more you do this now in training, the easier it will be physically and mentally when you come to a race. All right, fantastic job, guys. Just coming up to a minute 30 remaining on this. We're doing a really good job. Okay, just try to keep that cadence up. Very easy for the cadence to drop off as you get tired, particularly towards the end of each of these blocks. So just think about that. If you've got a bike computer in front of you or you're using a virtual training platform, then just keep an eye on that cadence that will be displayed on there. Just want to try and not allow it to drop too much below 90 RPM. So we've got, coming up to a minute remaining on this. Stick at it, you're doing a fantastic job. After this, we're going to a two minute recovery. Intensity level of five out of 10. Keeping the cadence the same. Just dropping through the gears ever so slightly. The end is in sight of this second set. we two thirds of the way through this. A lot of efforts here. And so you've definitely broken the back of this session now. Doing a great job. And just look forward to that recovery, but keep the focus and just maintain that rhythm. Even when we do change down the gears, you're going to still keep that same rhythm with your legs. And it'll just make it easier to get back into it after the recovery as well. So the final 20 seconds of this effort. Don't change anything, just keep it at the same level. You're doing a great job. Yep, stick with it. Very easy to tail off at this point. I think you're close to the end, so you start to stop early. Right to the final second. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, back off. Five out of 10 intensity. Keep the cadence the same if possible. This is an opportunity to recover, to flush out the legs a little bit without backing fully off. This is actually what makes the session quite hard because we're not coming right off the intensity. So we're going from quite long, hard efforts into a recovery that's also not incredibly easy. Yeah, so. exactly. This is the hard part because you mentally get to the end of a effort. You think, oh, I want a complete rest here. But this is still part of the session. You're letting yourself get your heart rate a little bit lower, but not dropping right off. So the effort's still going through those legs. You're still getting benefit from every minute. We're really making all of this session count today. Yeah, if you're new to this kind of workout or you are struggling, 
not a problem to back off a little bit more on these recoveries and then maybe come back to this session at a later date when you're feeling a bit more fitter, you've worked on this a bit more and start to work a little bit harder on the recoveries, not backing off quite as much on these blocks. But we have just 50 seconds remaining on this recovery block and then we're into the final four minute tempo block and we really are very close to the end there, although we do still have four micro burst sprint intervals that'll be 10 seconds all out but let's focus on this tempo block we have coming up in just over 30 seconds time four minutes final four minutes and intensity of eight out of ten keeping that cadence 90 rpm okay 20 seconds remaining we've got this the last one you can really get your head around this now think of that final effort and then some little spicy bits at the end to look forward to All right, okay. here we go. Five seconds remaining. Three, two, one. Get in the right gear, find that rhythm, increase the intensity gradually up to an eight out of 10. Lock yourself in, find that rhythm for four minutes. Make sure you're comfortable, don't go off too hard. Maybe you're on a TT bike now, or you've got a road bike with aero bars on. Now is a great opportunity to Find that position and, like Mark said, lock in, focus on maintaining that effort and really just getting into the zone of eight out of ten. It's all yeah. a bit of a mental battle, isn't Now's it? Now's the time to picture your biggest rival up the road in front of you and you're just reeling them in bit by bit. Or maybe you're being chased. You're, you're leading the race and you're holding off the competition. You've just broken away from Tim Don. <laughs> <laughs> Laying the power down. Is this a race you've not told us about, Mark? Maybe it's, maybe it's Peter Sagan. <laughs> All right, here we go. Suddenly we've been promoted to the world tour. <laughs> All right, three minutes remaining. Yeah, it's great work, everyone. Just think about those benefits that you're getting from this. It's quite high intensity, but it's short. 20 minutes of efforts here. 25 minute session, it's amazing what you can do and how good you'll feel afterwards. Just focus on that right now. If you need a little bit of a distraction, keep those legs at that same rhythm we've had throughout this and really just picture how good you're gonna feel when it's over. All right, under two and a half minutes remaining here. Do a fantastic job. Okay, we've got long left until the end of these tempo blocks. So stick with it, keep that rhythm, keep that cadence at 90 RPM. If you are starting to tail off, don't worry, don't stop. Keep going, just maintain what you can. Try not to panic. That can be the big thing here. As you start to tail off, you panic that you can't maintain the intensity. That's fine, just relax. Do what you can. Keep that heart rate nice and stable. Yeah, it's okay to change the gear if you need to. So just really focus on trying to keep your legs moving at this same rhythm. It doesn't matter if you're, if you're feeling strong, don't be afraid to go up a gear. If you're struggling a little bit, go down a gear. It's the effort level, it's not the power number. It's how it feels to you and only you know that and only you can answer how hard you're working. So we can't see you at home sadly, so you're safe. <laughs> but just give it everything you can for this effort and you'll definitely feel the benefits then. I think it's safe to say both Heather and myself are hurting too here, so we're in it with you. Yeah, this isn't a smile, this is a grimace. <laughs> it's just stuck on my face right now. Yeah, fantastic work, guys. We're coming into the final minute here. Just keep with it. Try and keep the intensity stable, the cadence stable. Nice deep breaths. Try and stay relaxed. Try not to grip hold of the handlebars too much. Just stay nice and relaxed, almost like you can play the piano with your fingers. Yeah, just remember you're not alone doing this. We're both suffering. Other people will be at home on their bikes right now doing this with you all around the world. So take some comfort in that and just go back to whatever works for you to get you through this. 25 seconds remaining. Come on, stick with this right up until the final second. Then we're into a two minute recovery. Okay, come on. 15 seconds remaining. Keep the effort level the same. 
Keep that cadence up, 10 seconds remaining. Now into the final five seconds. Three, two, one. All right, Ooh. into the recovery block. That's it, keep those legs moving at the same pace, but just drop down through the gears. Yeah, give yourself a pat on the back. That is the main bulk of the session done, but we do still have some hard intervals to come, but they're very short. You can hopefully just get through this, just grit your teeth. What we'll be doing is 10 seconds all out sprint at the end of this recovery block and then into a 30 seconds recovery. We'll really back off the power again, back to about a five out of 10 intensity. And then we'll do that four times three. So yeah, really laying the power down on those sprint efforts as hard as you possibly can. Just empty the tank in the final few minutes of this session. So you have a minute 15 remaining. Yeah, you want to go out with a bang. So 10 seconds sounds like nothing, but you've really got to be in the zone for these and think about what gearing you might want so you can prep that ahead of time. And then think about just everything you've got. And 10 feel out of 10. Yeah, and feel free to get up out of the saddle on these efforts, the 10 second efforts. Really lay the power down. Or if you like, stay in the saddle. Both have their um, benefits, training benefits. Um, but yeah, just try and get the power out as best as possible. Okay, 35 seconds remaining. Make sure you're getting some deep breaths in if you want some hydration or some fluid. Get that on quickly now as we approach the final 20 seconds of this recovery. Then we're into 10 seconds all out. 30 seconds recovery, four times three. Okay, 15 seconds remaining. Right. 10. We're in this together, guys. Come on. Five seconds. Two. One. Go, 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 go. 10 seconds is nothing. Come on, guys. Absolutely everything you've got. The final four seconds. Three, two, one. And back up there. Oh. Okay, 30 seconds. Five out of 10 intensity. 90 RPM. Try and get that cadence up as quickly as possible on those 10 second intervals. 15 seconds remaining on the A recovery. Three more of these sprint intervals to go. I don't know about Ooh. you, Mar, but it hurts me more about 10 seconds after I stop than it does during. Five, <laughs> four, three, two, one, go, go, go. Come on, guys. Eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, and easy. Okay, keep moving, keep moving. 90 RPM. Okay, brilliant job, guys. Oh. Two more blocks of that to go. 15 seconds remaining. You're doing a great job too, Mark. All this chatting. I'm a bit out of breath over here. 10 seconds <laughs> remaining. Okay, getting ready. Getting to the right gear. Two, one, go, 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 go. Come on, guys. Really push. Three, two, one. There we go. Recovery. We've got our final 10 seconds. And then we're into the cool down of two minutes. 20 seconds remaining. 15 seconds remaining. Get some big breaths in. <laughs> Try and I'm relax. Trying. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Go, 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 go. Come on, this is the last one. You got it. Final five seconds. Come on, guys. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Oh, Brilliant yeah. work. Keep the legs moving. That is it, that's the session done. Ooh. Or at least the hard work done. But make sure you recover well now. Just got two minutes recovery. Keep the legs moving. Somewhere around 80 to 90 RPM now. Get, I'm gonna try and keep the effort level there. So around five out of 10 now. But feel free to let that tail off as we go through these two minutes. Or as I mentioned earlier, extend that warm down out. Do a little bit longer after this video ends. Yeah, I think we might need a bit more of a warm down after that one. Just to go off slightly. Great job, Mark, chatting all the way through those. 
I would question your effort levels, but then I can see actually how hard you're physically working, so I won't. <laughs> there is a lot of sweat dripping off me. <laughs> but yeah, the, that's a fantastic workout. The main bulk of it, taking just 20 minutes in total with a warm up and warm down, around 25 minutes. So we've got just over a minute remaining on this cool down. Again, just feel free if you like to extend this out a little bit further. Brilliant work, keep going. 52 seconds remaining. Come on, brilliant work. Feel free to get some fluid in now. If you have a towel to hand, wipe the sweat off you. You've done a fantastic job. A real bang for your buck session. So a lot of variety in this. Fantastic work. 30 seconds remaining of the cool down. Keep the legs moving. Effort level of five out of 10. Came some 90 or 80 to 90 RPM. But thanks again for joining us on this indoor workout. We have plenty more over on our channel, so make sure that you do subscribe to the channel. And if you have enjoyed today's video, make sure you give this video a nice like. And yeah, we'll see you guys sometime soon.